The Canis Panther, also known as the Panther Dog, is an incredibly intimidating and powerful breed. The breed is well known for its intelligence, loyalty, and bravery. These dogs are so loyal, in fact, they would lay down their lives to protect their masters. However, these guys are extremely rare, so chances are you haven't heard of this breed yet. After all, the breed was only developed a few decades ago. And what's more, the breed has not been recognized by any major kennel clubs yet. If you're looking to own one of these guys and want to know more about the breed, well, you've come to the right place. In this video today, we'll be looking at the top 10 interesting facts about the Canis Panther. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Canis Panther owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these incredible dogs from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The history of Canis Panther dates back to the 1970s. Scorpia Jones, Michael Stratton, and L. Lopez began breeding the Canis Panther in the 1970s in the US. They aimed to breed the perfect Protexan dog and they combined the physical and mental attributes of the Great Dane, the American Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the Black Lab, and the Doberman Pinscher to achieve this. The resulting breed after the crossbreeding between the four parent breeds was the Canis Panther, a dog with a fierce appearance and a loyal personality. The breed got its iconic name not because it hunts black panthers, but because it looks surprisingly similar to one. Canis Panthers are recognized by the Dog Registry of America and the Personal Protection Dog Association. However, they are yet to be recognized by the major kennel clubs such as the AKC and the FCI. Number 2. Their Appearance Canis Panthers are large dogs. Males usually stand around 27 to 30 inches tall and weigh 120 to 150 pounds. And females stand 24 to 27 inches in height and weigh 85 to 115 pounds. The most striking feature about the breed isn't their size though, it's their appearance. These are some of the fiercest looking dogs around. Often compared to wild panthers, these dogs are an impressive sight to behold. They are lean, strong, and powerful in appearance. The breed looks somewhat like a Doberman and an American Staffy mixed together with the coat color of a Labrador and the stature of a Great Dane. Canis Panther is a muscular dog with a wide face, a large jaw, a broad chest, and a well-muscled body. The ears are often cropped, the tail docked, and the claws removed to give the dogs an even ferocious look. The coat is short and close lying to their skin and comes in colors of black, chocolate, fawn or box skin, and blue or gray. Canis Panthers always exhibit solid coat colors. Some individual dogs might however have a white or tan marking on their chest and belly. Number 3. Their Temperament The Canis Panther is an extremely intelligent, loving, and loyal dog, forming deep bonds with their family and especially with one member of the family that they consider their leader. Living with a Canis Panther is like owning a mood detector. These dogs just know when something is wrong with their owner and will want to do everything in their power to help. The breed makes an awesome, lovable family dog, always watchful and protective of their humans. As for strangers, the Canis Panther's nature as a protection dog makes them distrustful of any unfamiliar humans and animals. Therefore, the breed is not good with new people and can come across as aggressive dogs even if they aren't. They're likely to attack any strangers if they feel like someone is threatening them or their owners. The breed can get along with children if socialized accordingly from a young age. Still, it's important you are always close by, monitoring the interaction between your dog and your children. Just the sheer size of the Canis Panther, along with its protective nature, can lead to an accidental injury. They could easily knock over your toddler on accident by just playing. These dogs can be territorial, so it's a good idea to raise them as the only pet in the house. If you already own a Canis Panther and want to have another pet around, make sure the other dog is non-dominant and of the opposite sex, as these dogs don't usually get along well with dogs of the same sex. That said, any child or other pets the Canis Panther considers part of their pack will be safe and protected by this breed. Number 4. They make excellent protection dogs The Canis Panther is ranked among the top guard dogs and is also nicknamed the ultimate protector. This breed was born to serve and defend the leader of the pack, which would be you. Their job is to make sure that you are safe at all times and their home is safe too. While the breed is sensitive and friendly at home, they can flip personalities on a dime if they feel their owner is threatened. They can go from sweet loving dogs to aggressive ones in a second. The Canis Panther is a breed that will have no regard for their own life as long as they can protect their human. These dogs are also quite sensitive, picking up on their owner's emotions easily. They can tell when their owner is feeling sad and will try to comfort you in any way they can. Number 5. Their Exercise Needs The Canis Panther needs regular exercise. Their exercise shouldn't necessarily be vigorous, but should engage their minds as well as their bodies. Their intelligence requires them to be regularly challenged. At the very least, 30 to 60 minutes of exercise is crucial to keep these dogs occupied and healthy, which should include a long walk and a separate playtime. In addition to these, the breed also requires a large yard to patrol and run around in. As for the mental stimulation, interactive toys that reward treats after completion, 
playing hide and seek, and learning new tricks make great solutions. Your dog could show destructive behavior such as digging up the yard or chewing the furniture if they don't receive enough stimulation. So make sure they get the required daily mental and physical stimulation to prevent them from getting bored. Number 6. They are not suited to novice owners. The Canis Panther is a protection dog, always on the lookout for possible threats to their owners. These guys are naturally distrustful of strangers and animals they don't know. If untrained, they might show aggression towards any person or animal they perceive as a threat, even if the stranger didn't mean any harm. As a result, they need extensive training for proper channelization of their energy from a young age. An untrained Canis Panther can be very fearsome, as these dogs are large and powerful enough to easily assert physical dominance over their owner or any human. They need a leader that can give them proper training to prevent them from being unruly. This is why it is recommended that you get a Canis Panther only if you can give them proper training to channel their energy. Do not opt for this breed if you don't have prior experience with any protection dogs. Number 7. Their Training Although their appearance may come off as unruly and rowdy, the Canis Panther is an intelligent dog that is easy to train because of their eager to please nature. One of the original breeds used to create the Canis Panther was the Black Labrador, chosen not only for their coat color but also for their intelligence and ease of training. As such, the Canis Panther is easy to train but they can have a few stubborn streaks at times. A major part of the training this breed is teaching them that you are the pack leader. This should not involve physical confrontation, and it is possible to assert your position through the use of positive reinforcement. Set up the rules and boundaries and reward them time and again. Staying calm but assertive when correcting behavior is key to training this breed. However, training will need to be consistent and it should start when your dog is a puppy. Yes, the most important part of training your Canis Panther would be socialization from a young age. Socialization teaches your dog that new people, new animals, and new situations are nothing to be afraid of. It means that they will react positively when meeting new people. Make sure your Canis Panther pup meets lots of humans, animals, and is subject to lots of new situations so that they won't grow up to be skittish or aggressive. Number 8. Their Grooming Grooming a Canis Panther is a relatively easy task. The breed has a short coat, and while it does shed a little, a quick weekly brush will remove dead hair and ensure that your pup is comfortable. During shedding season, though, it is recommended that you brush your dog's coat once every two to three days. This will help reduce the amount of hair on furniture and around the house. Other than the weekly brushing of their coat, you'd need to maintain your pup's teeth and nails. Brush your panther's teeth two to three times a week and trim their nails once every month. Check and clean their ears regularly to avoid any infection, and as for bathing, it's only necessary if your canis gets too dirty. Number 9. Their Health The Canis Panther is a fairly healthy breed with an average life expectancy of 10 to 12 years. Because of their new status, there hasn't been enough information to assess just how healthy they are in the long run. So far, the breed hasn't shown any predisposition to genetic health issues. They can still be prone to some of the common health issues affecting most dogs of this size. Some of the health conditions that you should be wary of include hip and elbow dysplasia, bloat, and eye and ear infections. The most important factor in determining your dog's health is getting a pup from an experienced breeder who can show you the health clearances of the pup's parents. As long as you get a pup from a responsible and reputable breeder, your pup shouldn't have any major health concerns. Number 10. Their Diet and Nutrition if you're wondering what type of dog food a Canis Panther eats, they require high-quality dry kibbles with plenty of protein in it. You can even mix it with some raw meat and vegetables to provide your pet with healthier meals. If you have the time and budget to stick with a raw diet, that can work too. The amount of food you give your Canis Panther should be based on their age, size, activity level, and health. Generally speaking, an active muscular breed like the Canis Panther would need 4-6 to six cups of food daily. That's around 1,700 to 2,300 calories a day. Divide their food allowances down to 2-3 to three meals a day to prevent bloat and any other gastrointestinal issues. If you're still unsure about the food portions and how often you need to feed your Canis Panther, always be open to suggestions from your vet or breeder. Alright folks, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Canis Panther. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these loyal and fierce protection dogs, then do let us know about the unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and share it with your friends and family as well. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.